Impact segment tonight, a recent Fox News poll asked women registered voters what they think of Newt Gingrich. Favorable, 24%. Unfavorable, 58%. Can't say, 9%. Never heard of him. 8%, that's the Jersey Shore crowd. Joining us now from Washington, Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall, and from Fort Worth, Texas, Janine Turner, radio talk show host on KLIF. Janine, we'll begin with you. What do you make of those numbers? I don't know what I make of those numbers, you know, because if you listen to that crowd in the room in South Carolina, I don't think that was all men applauding there. I mean, I think women are more concerned about the economy. They don't have jobs. Their husbands don't have jobs. Their children don't have jobs. I, 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 don't, I don't think this whole issue with his former wife is really going All right, to but here's them. the problem, Janine. If you have three guys that are basically saying the same thing about the economy, and you do, Gingrich, Romney, and Santorum, then it comes down to personalities, and the Fox News poll shows that Mitt Romney is by far, in a way, the most popular among women. And if he does win in South Carolina, it's going to be because of women, because men are going to go for Gingrich, in my opinion, my humble opinion, tomorrow. Janine. Well, you never know. I, I, I think that it, it ain't well, you know, we're till it's over. Yogi Berra, 57, my father taught me. And, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's, I got all sidetracked with that little quote there. But, oh, Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan in 1980, he, um, he didn't get the women's vote either. And now recently in a 2011 Gallup poll, he's been regarded as the if, uh, I know that, the but greatest But you know, there's a big ever. difference between uh, Reagan's presentation and, and Gingrich's. What do you say, uh, Leslie? Well, Bill, he is not doing well with women, and this was before the interview with his former wife. And, you know, I think it comes down to a few things. One, I do think some women, um, you know, do, don't like him. They like Mitt Romney and think that Mitt Romney's the guy that can beat uh, President Obama. Two, you said, you know, it's about personality. Absolutely. And I think that Newt comes across for many women as about a, a bit bombastic, whereas Romney comes off more as a gentleman. I hate to say it, Bill, and feminists are going to get mad at me. Romney's better looking. I mean, Perry does better but with women. Does that really matter? Does that really matter anymore? Shouldn't, it shouldn't. But it does. It, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. But it it well, does. Well, Santorum's and not just a good looking guy. <laughs> Santorum is, you know. But he does right? better. Santorum. Rick, Rick Santorum, see, all of the candidates, like you said, not much difference. But Newt did not do uh, well with women before this. I don't think that's I think going it's more to change. The bombastic I do think stick stuff than the than the look stuff. Um, because, Janine, I think there are some women who they don't like loud guys and brash guys and, you know, confrontational guys. Now, of course, I'm not like that, but I know men who are, <laughs> and some women just don't like that. And, of course, Gingrich is really in your face. Well, he is in your face, and he has a lot of solutions that, that require the work of all Americans, you know, it's, it's sort of not, he doesn't really present an easy fix. He, pre he presents a, a deep, he's a deep thinker. He has a lot of plans that are gonna require all of us in America to step forward. And, and women are a little bit busy, you know, raising families and working at the same time. But, but I, I, I really think that it is hard to pick, but I, I don't, I don't, I, I think women may turn for him. In the past, history yeah, has proven that he's the most conservative women candidate has In won. either uh, South Carolina or Florida. I, I think women will probably. But I think he may win in South Carolina. He might. He not, listen, when you have that kind of fire behind you with just 48 hours, you know, when you have that kind of a women stunning. Women like fire, right too. There, they do. They do. But it's a matter of. Newt Gingrich's perception of him over a lot of years, if he were just coming out of nowhere and people didn't know him, that would Absolutely. be right. But people have formed opinions of him, perhaps unfairly. I'm going to give Leslie the last word, which is uh, very, very frightening for me, but I, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so, Leslie, you and go I was ahead. Gonna, I was going to compliment you and say, well, you know, we like bombastic men, Bill, when they're attractive, which many women, including myself, think you are, but not necessarily the, the heavy, white-haired guy, Mr. Gingrich. His past does come into play, not just politically, but personally, and definitely with women. You know, we're very emotional. And I'll leave it at that, okay? It's true, uh, and I think that the speaker uh, knows that, and he, and he has tried to soften it up. But I, I think last night uh, he did what he had to do. I mean, he went after the messenger, and the messenger was trying to exploit the situation. And I know both men and women applauded that action last night. Mm -hmm. Not all of them. I thought it was, I thought it was many, a very smart political move. It was. And all all ladies, I have to say is think of Lincoln. All right, I always Lincoln do. Lincoln wasn't that good looking. <laughs> that, but there wasn't he was a great president. Janine, let me break this to you. It wasn't television then. All right, no television. I know, but he would have won. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny Moore ahead.